Hello, hello. Another day, another recording. Thank you so much for keeping up with this YouTube channel. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you sharing and I'm seeing my views gradually rising. Thank you so much for all that you've done for me. In this particular episode, I'm going to be discussing something that I feel like we all have in common. That I think this is one of the foundations of the suffering of man. Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're in primary school or elementary school and you think to yourself every once in a while, once I'm done with primary school or elementary school, all these problems will be gone. Now you're in high school. It's for some people it's junior high, but in Kenya it's primary than high school. You're in high school. And you think to yourself, once I'm done with high school, all these problems will be gone. And now you're in university or college, and you think to yourself again, once I'm out of university, all these problems will be gone. And you get a job, and you think to yourself, once I quit this job, all these problems will be gone. And you start your own business, and you think to yourself, once I start making money, all these problems will be gone. Well, that's the point I'm at right now. Fortunately enough, I've had some lessons that have helped me realize that the problems never go. The problems are never gone. You just find yourself in a new situation, a different setting, but same old problems. I remember being in university my freshman and sophomore year, and back then my dream was to move to Japan. And I spent my freshman and sophomore year working hard to earn a scholarship that will get me to Japan. And the notion I had in my head was simply that, that once I leave Kenya, all the problems I had in Kenya would be gone. So I get my scholarship, I feel proud, my parents are happy with me, you know, everyone is cheering me on. And I come to Japan, and what do I realize in Japan? Now, the first thing I realize in Japan is that, hey, Kenya was never the problem. Oscar was the problem. So I took all the problems I had in Kenya and just moved them to Japan. In the beginning, I was a bit ignorant of this. So I thought, no, actually, it's Japan that's the problem. I thought Japan was going to be this great place, but it isn't. Kenya is actually much better. I wish I was back in Kenya. That's not how life works. Truth be told, all the problems never find you. You can say, I'm going to change the situation. I'm going to change the setting. I'm going to even change me. But problems are a part of existence. Suffering is a part of existence. And you do find that the sweetest moments in life are born out of overcoming an obstacle for just a moment. Right? Bettering a challenge for just a moment. Think about this. I'm going to just steal this from someone else. For anyone who's heard this, it has been stolen. I'm not the one who said this first. You're in university. You're a freshman. You work hard. You know, you're putting the time, putting the hours. You're studying. You get through university and you graduate. And yet, on your graduation ceremony, you're the king of the world. The king or queen of the world. You own everything. Everything is yours. Everything you've worked for, you're finally getting your dues. And the day for graduation, you're a serf. And all you can, all you earn is a minimum wage job at Starbucks. Think about that. For, for four years, you are dealing with one problem or the next. And the problem is here, you know, your tests, your your term papers, all of these things, you know, maintain a good GPA, and you graduate. And at graduation, you've solved the problem. All the problems of Fuel's University are now done, and I am a king, I am a queen, whatever, you, male or female. And the day after graduation, you face a new problem. A new problem arises, right? 
Now that's life. There's no way you're escaping the problems. And all your sweetest moments will be a brief reprieve from one problem. One problem. Right, so I look at my life like I have two kids. And having kids, especially in this modern world, can be a very exhausting. I work, you know. Right now my wife is out of work just for maternity leave, but she's gonna go back to work. So it's two working parents taking care of two kids. Now it gets very exhausting because the kids don't know how hard you're working when you're not with them. When you come home, they want to play with you. They want your attention. So just raising children, just spending time with your children becomes a problem because you don't have the energy to keep up with them. But you have no choice but to do your best to keep up with them. And one day, you might get a reprieve. And the reprie reprieve is this. Your kids, they go to a good school. They get a good job. They lead decent lives. One day, they might even tell you thank you. One day, they might even tell you thank you. Another situation, I'm running a business. For so long, I was employed by someone else. And the reprieve for all these years of employment was quitting my job. And I remember like the weeks leading up to my final day at work, I was so excited. Finally, I'm going to be done with this place. And I'm done. And I'm so excited for one day. Because I know the next day, I'm going to have to be my own boss, put up my own hours. You know, think of marketing. How am I going to build my business, scaling things? And now I'm dealing with more problems. The Buddhist said it best, life is suffering, life is suffering. And you're never going to escape the suffering. You know, you will escape it. The suffering will come to, to an end eventually when you die. But for the most part, as you're alive, as you're breathing, you should come to appreciate the suffering. Because the suffering, the scars make you who you are. The scars make me who I am with every new scar. I, I, it's a new lesson, a new experience, something to wear as a badge of honor, if you will. I've been through that. I dealt with that. I overcame that. And it's not to say, like, I'm a victim to that. No, no, no. I was able to overcome that, and that's why I'm here today. And some of the things we even call problems are just simply lessons. You need to learn this lesson, right? You need to learn this lesson. And I think it was, I've heard this quote somewhere that goes something like, it's only in life where you get the test first and the lesson afterwards, right? You're not prepared for a lot of what's coming. You think you are. Right now, you, you, you assume you're prepared for what's coming in life. You're not. What's coming is going to come. It's going to hit you like a truck. And when you're strong to get up, that's when you're going to learn the lesson. That's when you're going to learn the lesson. The problems never end. So don't say, when this is done, I'll be free of this problem. No, no, when this is done, you'll start facing a new problem, a new challenge. And you deserve that, and that's good for you. We all deserve these problems. You know, these problems, this, they, are, they are lessons for us. It's like Thai boxers, Muay Thai fighters. They have very strong shins. The shins of their legs are very strong. And the reason is that they, they kick uh, banana trees. They just kick banana trees over and over and over again. And what happens is that the bone, the shin bone, like gets scarred, right? Gets fractured constantly. And these tiny micro fractures makes, actually makes the bone harder, right? So by breaking their bone, by putting micro fractures in their bone constantly, they develop more strength in that bone. And that's life for us. We 
we are constantly being hit with micro fracture after micro fracture after micro fracture and eventually become the kind of person that if you from 10 years ago would meet, you would be impressed. You would be impressed. I know for a fact that if Oscar from 2014 were to meet Oscar today, he'd be really impressed. Of course, not with everything, you know, like in 2014, I was a kid imagining that in 10 years, we're going to be a billionaire. So no, I'm definitely not a billionaire. Not yet, at least. But I do believe, I do know that my resilience, my discipline, my diligence is some that will impress Oscar from 10 years ago. And I hope a 10 year younger you is as, will be as impressed with you today. And with that, I'd like to bring an end to the recording. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Goodbye.